Dr. Gatros here again for assignment number six, COP 3014. What we'd like to do now is start filling in the blanks. Now what we're going to do up here is work on step number one, which is get the file name and validate it. Now, there are a couple of ways to approach this. Essentially, what I want to do is I want to ask the user for a file name, and I want to make sure that that file name is good. In other words, I can open it. I don't necessarily have to make sure it's the right file. Uh, that's a little too complex for this project, but I do need to make sure that it is one that I can open it because I've got to open and close this file a couple of times. I want to make that verification once and then afterwards I'm going to assume that it's okay. Now, how am I going to do this? Well, um, Inside the main routine, since I'm going to be opening and closing this uh, file a couple of times, I'm going to let the individual functions do that. Really all I want here is I want the file name itself. So I'm going to create a character array, call it file name, and I'm going to give it a new uh, array, we'll call it max size and we'll go up in here and we will declare constant int max size uh, to equal 80 characters. Now that's that's probably pretty good. So I've done this for a reason. I have made um, file name a a pointer a pointing to a character array and I've allocated it uh, as a dynamic storage allocation function. Now, I've done this because this allows me to return that as a as a value of a function return. Now I know it's a little confusing but 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 bear with me. Okay. Now at this particular point I go ahead and I I write the routine itself. Okay. And I say uh, I'm going to give into file name and I'm going to say return file name and I'm actually going to pass in file name. So I'm going to pass in the file name, it's going to fill it out and it's going to return it back to me. I, I could actually make this routine a void and just use this but that's that's not a very good practice. Now let's write that routine. We've, we've, we've designed it, now let's implement it. We put our routine down here we want to put the prototype above. Uh, let's go ahead and it is we're returning a character pointer. Okay, we're return file name and we're passing in a character pointer. There is the prototype right there. Now let's put this down here. Character asterisk return file name character asterisk. Now we've got to give it a name here, something temporary to call it. We'll say FN. And now we'll write it. Okay. Okay. We'll go ahead and I know that the last thing I'm going to do is return FN. So I can go ahead and put that in uh, if you want to. To make this all work, I've got to declare a file pointer stream and we'll call it my file. Okay. Now we want to ask the user um, please enter a valid file name. Okay, CN. Okay, we will say um, FN. Notice that we're using the parameter that we passed in. It is not a constant. We can change it. So we're just going to go ahead and use that. Not a not an uncommon practice, but you should spell C incorrectly. Okay. Now we're going to try to open open the file. Now, if this is successful, we're okay. And at this point, if I knew that the file name that they were going to return is valid, and I don't want to check it, then I could just leave this alone and let it return file name. But I can't depend upon that. So I have to ask the question, while not my file dot is open, okay, 
I've got to do something. So I, there's a function called is open, and what I do is I ask the question, is it open? If it is, it's a valid file name, and I can bypass this and return the file name. If not, what I have to do is I have to put out a message, something along the lines of uh, invalid file name, please re-enter. I've get it all correctly. And then I try to open it again. It is the last thing that uh, I do here and I close the parentheses. Now this is how this code works. If this line of code right here fails, in other words it doesn't open, then what's going to happen is when I ask the question my file is open, it will be false. That not in front of it will turn to true and while it is not open, uh, it is going to go around and, and continue to do this. If you enter valid file name, please re-enter. Read in the file, try to open again, come back up and check it. So it's going to stay here until you enter a valid file name. When it actually is true, it will return the file name back to the main routine. All right, now let's uh, compile this. solution. Okay. All right. We have it completed. And uh, we'll go ahead and run it. file name. We'll just enter some crap. Val 9. And it worked fine. Okay, so that part of the program has worked. Now you'll notice what I'm doing is I'm writing a little bit of the code and I'm testing a little bit of the code. I'm writing a little bit of the code. I'm testing a little bit of the code. So uh, feel free to use that code. Remember the, where you got it from and to make sure that you put in the comments uh, where you did get it from to avoid any plagiarism problems. Okay, That concludes this particular portion of it, of how to design and to actually uh, check a file name. Very, very common stuff.